lovely big ammonite to see there on the shoreline. Look at my hand for scale there. There's a really big swell in the sea today. Let's go fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast and see what we can find. There you go, lovely little ichthyosaur backbone floating around in the surf. Let's just uh, try and wash it up a little bit. Use some of uh, the mud to rub across the surface of the fossil ichthyosaur, sea dragon vertebrae. They called them once upon a time. They referred to ichthyosaurs as sea dragons as they had large eyes and big teeth. Look at that. The bit there has pulled away nicely from the back of the ichthyosaur vertebra. Let's give it a bit of a scrub up, see how well it comes up. And here is the fate of all these fossils, if not found. Look at that one there. That was once a fossil sea urchin. Bit of fossilised wood there with some uh, lime bay agate in it. I'd like to get hold of some of this material that I polished up previously. You can see that lovely petrified wood, agatized and solidified there. And that's a really nice piece. And this bit here of lime bay agate, it's a nice pebble to see on the beach, but I need to find a really good seam of lime bay agate today. Some amazing fossil preservation here, some trace fossils, and then up here, a really pristine fossil shell from the green sand bed. Look at that, a fossil shell there, washing out of the mudslides. The fate of that will be the sea smashing it up, if not saved. Here's a nice little Arneoceros block. You can see with the ammonites there preserved in calcite in it and just on the outer edge there's a Euragasiceros ammonite. You can hear the sea banging away down there. It's still really a good swell left in the sea and I thought I'd get out here before the October half term fossil hunting along the Jurassic coast before all the pesky kids turn up and find all the fossils. They're close to the ground and got better eyesight for finding the fossils so uh, let's give this a, a tap. They've got that sort of energy about them as well. They get out there and they've got that sort of real energy they get out and find the fossils and bring them back, wash them up and put them in fresh water, get the salt out of them. I'm gonna give this a tap, trying to get that little creamy colored ammonite there. Euagasiceros, that ammonite is in that piece of the block. It's right on the edge. I don't know how to tackle this. It's quite a sort of uh, awkward shape of a block, but I'll give it a sharp crack with a hammer. Got my safety glasses on. There you go, that opened it up. A lot of effort though. And there is the Euagasiceros ammonite, seeing the light of day for the first time in all those millions of years. Preserved in creamy brown calcite there. The sun's just gone in on it, which is a shame. And there's the other part. Looks like after all that tapping, I've hurt my hand there. Really sharp rock. Go and put that in the sea. There you go, a nice bit of seawater on it. That's uh, looked after it there. A baby moss waterfall, and we'll go down and see the daddy moss waterfall soon. Along this part of the Jurassic coast, I'm heading down towards Pinay Bay, and I've been up round towards the moss waterfalls on these lovely ledges. What an amazing day there you can see surfs up. A lovely big ammonite to see there on the shoreline. Look at my hand for scale there. There is the daddy of moss waterfalls, the really big one there in towards Pinay Bay.
real good surf running here in Pinay Bay. Some fantastic wave today. Well, remember the cliffs are dangerous and liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Remember your sturdy gloves, like I managed not to. And then fossil hunt at low tide, an hour before low tide, an hour after is always good. Along the Jurassic Coast, get an eye for your tide tables and stay away from the dangerous cliffs that are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Well, have a look here. You can see part of an ammonite and then on the beach, what else do you spot? Part of an eroded Nautilus there, that's a shame. I got a little ammonite here in iron pyrite. Fool's gold. I'm back down to the ammonite pavement. This wonderful section along the coast with all these ammonites in. If the sun comes back out, you'll see the relief of those ammonites really well. All eroding away, but fun to see at low tide along the Jurassic Coast. If you think you have spotted me along the Jurassic Coast, I'm the old looking one with a stick as a good point of contact with the ground as I walk over those higgledy piggledy rocks. I have a metal framed rucksack and also a peaked cap that I wear, which is usually an orange colour. I'm heading out at low tide most often to look for fossils like this ichthyosaur vertebra and the ichthyosaur that ancient marine reptile grew up to 60 feet swam as fast as a tuna fish and ate anything that moved back in the jurassic well one young chap asked me what if the creature that the ichthyosaur was after didn't move well, that just shows you how far forward in thinking the young folks are and how my brain, being older, is starting to get a lot slower. <laughs>